something in life uh is depends upon how you are going to uh work in a particular kind of situation what what mindset you are having in a particular situation as i told in the earlier uh, videos mindset is very very important positive mindset negative mindset for example in anything you want to do uh, if you have a positive mindset or positive mindset is also called as resourceful mindset so if you have resourceful mindset you can do that to work very well uh, otherwise if you have a negative mindset then you will fail uh, in doing so so i will give you a good example in cricket uh, if the, if the batsman is in form then he will be in a resourceful mindset he will be in a positive mindset so when he goes to bat he will be in a positive mindset and the ball comes to his bat very easily he can see the bat very uh, easily and uh, he's uh, hand eye coordination hand body coordination will be very well and his uh, there will be fluency in his batting and he will score again and again that's why we see sometimes some batsmen scores 50s and 100s continuously in a series of match they will be successful in all matches of that test series it is because they are in a resourceful state of mind because of that it, we normally call it as form he is in a good form so for example roy sharma when he is in a good form nobody can stop him sachin tendulkar so virat kohli when they were good form they won the tournaments so it is all the about the mindset that is uh, what kind of mindset they have in that particular series in that particular match even in that particular moment so everything depends upon the mindset resourceful mindset and resourceful mindset suppose the same batsman sometimes loses his form why he loses his form in one match or in one or two match he may make some mistake or uh, the bowlers are too good to handle and uh, he loses uh, he okay he gets out very cheaply then he loses that resourceful mindset he loses his uh, he is he will become doubtful about his own abilities so uh, because of uh, several uh, uh, failures continuously he may lose his uh, positive mindset and he may start uh, doubting himself and that is called as the unresourceful mind mindset or negative mindset so that happens to many batsmen even sachin kapoor sachin tendulkar has faced uh, lack of form rohit sharma has faced lack of form so um, i think uh, dhoni from last few years he is uh, uh, facing this lack of form what is that it is the anal resourceful state they started doubting them because of some uh, failures they started uh, doubting them so the best thing is to visit a psychologist or nlp practitioner and change his their mindset from anal resourceful to resourceful definitely they will be successful so therefore my dear friends it, uh, it is a fact that most of the celebrities most of the uh, sports people uh, were nlp practitioners they had already trained in nlp the coach um, is also trained in nlp and uh, with the help of nlp they used to uh, get that resourceful state that uh, to get that uh, mindful state that uh, what you call it as a positive mindset whenever they want so there uh, to get that uh, Uh, fluency to get that forms that they used to have that. of course uh, again it depends upon the uh, the kind of series they are having the climate the opponents strong or weak so a lot of factor comp- uh, contributes to uh, the failure of the batsman failure of the, uh, even a team etc but mindset plays a very important role in the failure and success of any cricketer any celebrity any even to me also it is true even to you also it is true so we were discussing about how how you can achieve excellence in life it is very simple my dear friends take a role model role model which who represent uh, what you are aiming to do if you want to become a cricketer a cricketer should be a role model if you wanted to become a uh, business king businessman businessman will be should be your role model if you want to become a celebrity uh, okay an actor or something actor and uh, should be your role model so 
if you are a, if you want to excel in study a good student a rank student should be your role but just uh, uh, choosing a role model doesn't work you have to work hard to know what is his success pattern how he achieves success that comes the question uh, that is the question called how you have to ask question how they achieved what they have achieved what effort they had put what 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 was their daily routines or what is their daily routines what habits they have uh, developed during their uh, upbringing to achieve that kind of success so if there is a right rank student what habits he has cultivated what daily routines he has to follow how he manages his time so these are all related to how how he does this how what all actually the neuro linguistic programming is has been developed considering this how how the celebrities become celebrities what are their thought pattern what are their habitual patterns what are their daily routines how they think so everything comes in nlp you will learn in nlp how they think this is called as modeling in nlp so therefore nlp is also called as modeling of excellence so you you should always model excellence not uh, Uh, med- mediocre so modeling of excellence if you want to be excelling life if you want to become a rock star then you have to model excellence but what model you choose must be uh, having of the same field where you want to excel so therefore my dear friend this is the importance of how you might have stay as a read the book seven habits of successful people seven habits of successful people is based on again nlp concept where these seven habits are nothing but the habits they are uh, that have taken those uh, ordinary people into extra extraordinary ordinary people into extraordinary so uh, if you study the success cases of many people they were ordinary, very ordinary when they were born they were born in a very very uh, poor or mediocre families then they become successful because of their what uh, their uh, uh thinking pattern their uh, cultivated habits their cultivated daily routines uh, then uh, their focus their determination their hard work so a lot of factor con- contributes to us for example consider dhirubhai ammani he was born in a very humble family but he became a business tycoon one of the biggest industrialist in india so his uh, sons are now following in his footsteps so how he became so how he aimed for uh, what what was his life's uh, life goal how he became like like that what habits he has cultivated that you need to study if you want to become like him that you need to study and adapt in yourself just studying will not help adapting yourself for connect then you can become successful so with this uh, message that is importance of asking how how they have become so much successful how something is doing very well something is not doing very well so that is very very important because success always depends upon how and why why and how regarding why i have already spoken in my earlier video video and this video is all about how so i am coming with an nlp training uh, in very soon and you are going to learn both why and as well as how so how to be successful how to model a person how to excel in life how to become a rock, a rock star in whatever you do so you are all going you are all going to learn in the telephone training so keep watching my channel please subscribe to my channel and get notifications keep watching me so i am going to give you many many important hints so that uh, you can grow in your life because my sole aim is to add value to your life whether you are a businessman whether you are a student whether you may be in anything i wanted to add value of course that will add uh, i have grow personally also i go personally also uh, it will be uh, financial growth, growth also and uh, personal growth so, therefore thank you for uh, watching this video thank you very much